Hey, this is Joe from Webs Online, and today we're going to unbox the Atlantic MD Series Pond Pump. All right, so let's jump right in. Instruction manual. Got some fittings. the pump. So I'll preface this video by this is the MD1500 model. Uh, this line of pumps actually has seven. Uh, this being the biggest, the smallest being the 300. Most of the features are about the same. So as you can see, rugged. This is a compact, fully submersible magnetic driven pump. This is a removable pre-filter screen. This will protect uh, the impeller itself. Solid base. Looks like there's a couple mounting ports on the base. So if you actually wanted to affix this to something solid and keep it upright, you could. Uh, but to be honest, you can run this pump any which way. You can run it upside down, sideways, as long as it's fully submerged. Super long 20 foot grounded power cord. You have a couple fittings. Give you a stepped barb fitting. Looks like it'll accommodate anywhere from inch to inch and a half tubing. Just threads right on the discharge. Whatever size you're not using, just take a hacksaw. Just cut those smaller ends off. And they give you an additional fitting, which will actually increase the pump to looks like about inch and a half. To access the impeller, it's pretty straightforward. They do give you a small set screw that keeps the volute in place, oftentimes on quarter twist uh, magnetic driven pumps. Sometimes if you're pulling the pump out of the pond from the tubing, which you should never do, that'll actually twist the volute off and it'll actually come right off the body of the pump. So they give you this small locking screw here just for added protection. It doesn't take any more than just a couple seconds to unthread it. And obviously if you wanted to keep this screw off, you could. It's recommended that you do keep it on. So if you ever needed to service the pump, you'd wanna just pop that off. So once you get that screw out, you just give this volute a quarter turn. Very simple, very quick. You can access the impeller right from there to do your full service cleaning. So this is again a fully submersible pump. You can use this for uh, small waterfalls to run any type of filtration you need. Uh, 1500 gallons per hour is a substantial amount of flow and obviously you have the options for even lesser down to 300 gallons per hour with the smallest model. For any additional questions feel free to give me a shout. My name is Joe from Webs Online.